Hello everybody, my name is Necroxus, and we're back. We're going to do all of them eventually, but today we're taking a look at the Paladin class campaign of Legion. Um, I know you might be asking, well, Necroxus, you just did the Priest one, and that one's, from what I heard, really similar to the Paladin one, but I figured let's just do both of them right in a row. Um, as you can see, I'm on my Paladin right here, and uh, let's just get started. So Maxwell Tyrosis has a quest for us. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, Lord. So long as the Order of the Silver Hand stands, we will do everything in our power to destroy the Legion's foothold on Azeroth. To succeed, we will need to enlist the best of our Order. Let me be the first as your service, Derham. I will be your eyes and blades, blades where you are not. I will carry out your will until my dying breath. So we get Lord Maxwell Tyrosis. Woohoo! The Blood Matriarch! I am not but the first of many. You must find out the holiest of paladins to champion our order. There is one other who deserves such honor. Lady Lydrin, matriarch of the Blood Knights, go speak with her now. I love Lady Lydrin. You know, everyone always criticizes me as being, like, horde bias, but low-key, Lady Lydrin is, like, one of my most favorite secondary horde characters, along with Lorthamar, so stop saying that I'm so biased, damn it. Let's see what our awesome lady has to say. Good tidings! I am told that you were seek to stop the demon's reign of terror. Is that true? The Legion has hunted our people across countless worlds, taking countless lives. With each of our paladins that fall, the light reels in pain. I have had enough. I will fight by your side! God, I love Lady Lyadrin. I want to kiss her on the cheek. Um, but she is... Ah, she's so cool. Also, she has Keldalar now, so I guess, like, canonically, she's the wielder of, of Keldalar. Um, I was hoping she was, a, I'm hoping she's a bodyguard, but uh, it doesn't look like it. She just has a cooldown-based ability, so. Oh, well. We have a quest from Lord Grace and Shadowbreaker. Excellent. Both Lord Tyrosis and Lady Lyadrin will serve proudly. Greetings, Hyler. Beside me is a scouting map. From it, you can direct our allies across from vital assignments. The first task is critical. The storms over the Tomb of Sargeras are intensifying. We should send our champions to keep an eye on the region and scout the area for possible survivors. So this is the first minute-long quest, I assume, where it's like, uh, go oh, do this thing. Yeah, it looks like... Yep. All right. That's Lord, it, all right. Uh, go for it, Tyrosis. You got this shit. Um, and we're getting Commander Ancilla, I think is what her name was. Um, Alright, so I think this is the minute-long quest. Uh, yeah. So let's just chill a little bit, and we'll talk about some cool stuff. Um, I have been working on my blacksmithing, except for the helm that you can see right here, which is where I got from a the Eye of Ajar quest, I think. I really like the original... Um, what's, it, what's it called? The original plate set for blacksmithing, and I think it looks really cool. Except for Ashbringer... Which is kind of out of place, and I want to transmog into something else as soon as I can. Well, hopefully some of the better models of the, the Ashbringer look cooler. Um, specifically, I want to get the um, the Corrupted Ashbringer, um, which is a bit harder. From what I hear, is really hard to get. Um, it's, or at least, it's like really long and tedious. You have to do, like, you have to go grind a bunch of raids, you have to go do a bunch of... Um, Random searching, you have to do a bunch of collecting random shit. Oh, we still have a minute to go. Maybe it was a two-minute quest. But, um... But, yeah, I, but I, I I mean, from what I hear, it's really tr faithful and true to the, um... What people thought was looking for the way to get the Ashbringer in vanilla. What can um, I so let's just take a look around the class hall a little bit more, I guess. There's Lord Erlon... Erlon Trueblade. Words are great. Um, this seems to be the Blood Elf part of the area. We have... Lyadrin over there, and a bunch of these Blood Elves over here, um, and Random Dwarf Lady. Oh, and Gidwin and Terranar! I really wish that they were, um, we will I wish I wish that they were champions, but I don't think they are. Just because I have a soft spot for the Eastern Plagueland storyline, I mean, it's really, really cheesy. That's kind of how I love it. I mean, I even made a kind of a joke video, um about the end uh when everyone all of the npcs you've been fighting with come in and help you save them at the very last second um i just ah oh, that stuff gives me such such heartwarming feelings so all right oh that guy has corrupted ash bringer what i want that one all right our quest is complete let's see how tyrosis did oh that's my add-on is like really weird so sorry about that it's kind of buggy sometimes 
Greetings. Maxwell Tyrosus has returned with important news. First, he did recover some survivors. They are recovering in the chapel now. Among them was Commander Ansela, a veteran paladin. As for the second, I will let Sir Tyrosus tell you himself. Commander Ansela is a Grizzled War veteran and seasoned teacher. Many of our most valiant knights once trained under her. Go speak to her now and recruit a squad of squires. Oh, that's a mouthful. A squad of squires. All right, Tyrosus, what are you up to, girl? Greetings, High Lord. I have important news to share with you during my expedition to the Broken Shore. I saw with my own eyes an extraordinarily luminescent object emerge from the Fellstorm. It fell toward the coast of Suramar, cutting a swath through the Tempest itself. From it fell an incredible surge of power before it vanished beyond the horizon. We need to bring news of this immediately to Archmage Cadgar. Wait. Take care of yourself, Elf. Oh, that's cool. So the Paladins... So the Falling Star... I assume this is the Falling Star, right? The Falling Star quest chain... It's the Paladins who tell Cadgar, who then tells everybody else. Well met. See? All right, well, here, let's recruit a squad of squires. It's a little stuff like that that is, like, really interesting to me and why I am kind of bummed that Legion isn't as good as it could be. Because um, Legion has a lot going for it. But I feel like it gets my... Squads are... Squires aren't normally so quick to train, but I'll put a rush on this order for you. Because Legion has a lot of good things going for it, but it gets dragged down a lot by the tedious bullshit at the end like at the end game which well, is sad man. good these squires will fight well i guess we got to get yeah here we go a new mission requires our attention high lord earth Glen has come under attack by a small demon army no doubt they are testing our strength and our patience strength we have in bounds but my tolerance worse then i suggest we send our champions and troops to deal with this with threat honor, so do the do the mission wrath and I justice blade of the light. all right so it looks like uh, i, I want to hear what each of them the says um, At your Tyro Tyrosa says that. Blade of the light. I am the blade of the light. God, I love Lady Liadrin. All right, so uh, we're going to go talk with uh, Cadgar. Um, I don't know if this is just doing the Falling Star quest, Shane. It probably is. But I'm going to record it nonetheless and see what happens. Um, I thought the Dalaran portal was right there, but I guess... Maybe it's not working or it didn't load in or something, but we're going to go to Cadgar and see what he has to say. And then we will continue on there. Oh, here it is. Okay, see you there. All right, here we are, Cadgar. We there have some news for you. Um, I see you have an urgent Just message for me. Yourself. What is it? Oh, yeah, it's just a falling star quest chain. So um, I'm going to go do that, and then we'll see you guys afterwards and see if anything else changes. All right? All right. That All right, we're back. I completed it. Let's put this in here. Um, this is where you play Slice Heart. You feel hopeful. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Is that it? Is Erator not even going to be like, yo, you saw my dad? He's here somewhere, right? I thought he was. Maybe he's not. Alright, anyway, our quest is complete, or our mission. So let's, uh... Yay! We got it. Sir Greythorn, I think is what his name what was. Can I do for you? Our mission was a success. Not only did we defeat the enemy, but we recruited Alamand Greythorn, a noted scholar from Hearth Glen's archives. Alamand Greythorn is well known among the scholars of the light. He has long since retired from battle, but his mind is as sharp as ever. I wouldn't be surprised if he could take a bout or two in a duel either. Speak to him. See if he has any knowledge to share regarding the improvement of our order hall. So yeah, this is the end of our first... Bless you. Our first chapter of our order hall. Let's uh, see what he has to say and take a look at some of our upgrades before we finish this. Light be with you. Hey, girl. All right, so we can get Light's Favor. This is basically gives us a chance for to get a rare or epic upgrade from a quest. Or Blessing of Kings, which increases the first success chance of the first mission. This is basically the same as the Warlock one. Um, tier 2... Um, summons a charger, which allows you to perform mounted combat for a short duration. Um, but it's only a short duration. It's only once a day, so that does not sound that great. Otherwise, we get Righteous Blessing, which increases success chance of all missions with spells. Probably going to pick that one. Argent Call increases the, uh, the original, the first troop by one that you can recruit. Or you can do Work Orders, which will probably do that at first. Um... Newly required squads of squires become a shield bearer phalanx. So it basically makes the minions better. Only 5%? Wasn't that higher for the other... For the warlock ones? I don't remember. Um, or the second troop that I guess we're getting is Silverhand Knights. They become Silverhand Templars. Which, um... 
Okay, so it turns them into a troop that is better when they're with the first kind of troop. That's interesting. I'm not sure which one I like better then. And then we get um, placement work order for a Silver Hand Orders. Oh, this lets me complete an elite world quest, or a non-elite world quest, every 18 hours. Meh. This gives us a free seal, a second legendary. Um, this is when we can equip it, get a third kind of troop, a Silver Hand Crusader, or increase the number of champions. And finally, um, this is the Legion Fall one. Um, we're going to go with... Uh, I think this one for now, as we're leveling up, and then we'll change it later. Um, that's two hours, four hours, six hours, 12, 18, one day. Yeah, these used to be a lot longer. They really, um, all the, all the, everything up until the last one is one day only at the most, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we did all that. Let's turn in our final little bits and see what we have to do next. Greetings. Excellent! I knew Sir Great Thorn would come through. Hooray! Meeting of the Silver Hand. Uh, the Light's Heart will be safe within our Order's walls, but it bears dark tidings. We should gather the leaders of our Order for a council. Go speak with Lady Lyadrin, Vindicator Boros, Justicar, Judia Celeste, or Julia, Erator, there we go, and a Pony Brightmane. We should seek their wisdom for the days ahead. Okay. Be careful. I guess we could do that since this is not a, uh, this is not a, uh, a quest that ends with you having to do missions yet, so... Lady Lyadra, what's up, girl? Pleasantries can wait. Your council is requested. Aldiel Shala. Yes, a council of war is a good idea. The Legion's forces are spreading across the Broken Isles. We must not lose our foothold here. Okay. Sure thing, girl. I love you so much. Uh, a pony bright mane. What's up? Warm greetings to you. Howie, stop playing Hearthstone. The game course, sucks. Lord. I will speak my mind. The path of light is righteous and just. Whatever our means, let them remain virtuous. I love how her weapon is like a totem that she's like put a big ass crystal on. That's really thematically appropriate for a Torrin, I think. The Legion will not break us. Blessings upon you. Finally, High Lord, you will hear my words. We should focus our efforts on hunting down the Dreadlord Balnazar. It's time for retribution. Yay! Oh, that's right. Balnazar killed Tyrion. That's why everyone hates him. Or all the paladins hate him. I had forgotten that for a second. Wow, that guy looks pretty cool. That Torn. Erator, uh, by the way, we saw a message from your dad. I don't know if you, like, knew that. Honor to you. Steady travels. I heard rumors that we recovered a yep. message from my father. There we go. Are my parents alive? Uh, spoiler alert, yes. Spoiler alert, your mom hit is a little crazy with void shit. Um, where is... Oh, Julia Celeste is outside, okay. Uh, no offense, your mom's went a bit crazy with the void magic and your dad maybe was a little brainwashed by Zira. It's kind of a bummer. He's probably gonna die soon based on the prophecy that he saw and a dream you had. Um, both lining up in the exact same way, but you know who knows. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Ooh, that loading glitch. That was not super great. Julia Celeste is the only one doing actual work and guarding the base. Hey there. See you around. Very well, High Lord. I will give an accurate account of our army and our operations. She's cool. It's really cool seeing uh. These really, really old NPCs um, from Vanilla actually be important again, which I guess, you know, is the exact nostalgic thing that Blizzard was pandering to with Legion, but it's still, in a lot of cases, not all of them, but in a lot, it still feels feels good. Especially because in Vanilla you spent so long in Eastern Plaguelands, um, so it's nice. We will prevail. Thanks for gathering, everyone. Listen to the leaders of the council. May the light give you strength. Okay. Is it true that Teralion is alive? Alive, we think. It appears his army suffered a great defeat at the hands of the Legion. By the light, what does that mean for Azeroth? Erator. Son, the vessel. Oh. He senses young oh. Erator's presence. If you can hear this, I have an important message. For ages, I have hunted the burning Legion across the stars. 
In retribution, the dreadlord Balnazar has been sent to Azeroth to destroy all that I hold dear. You must gather the defenders of the light, Erator. Keep the light alive. Fight! Or all is lost. Farewell, son. Do not lose faith, for it is in the darkest moments that the light shines brightest. Must have been before his model was finished. You heard my father. We must act. Agreed, Erator. Brothers and sisters, the time to stand united is now. We must follow the High Lord's leadership more than ever. What will it be, High Lord? What should we do next? Wait, so they sent Balnazar to Azeroth to destroy what he holds most dear? Oh, all that he holds dear. I was going to say, they, they sent Balnazar to destroy Netherlight Temple. If that's what Tyr... If Torellian was saying that's what he holds most de dear, I don't know if he's a good dad or not, but it was all he holds dear, not mo not what he Azeroth most will not holds fall dear. While we stand. Um, I get to pick? Erator is right. Torellian and Illyria went to great lengths to send us this warning, High Lord. We look to you. What should we do? Procure supplies for the army. Defend against demon invasions. Seek allies under the light. Hunt the Dreadlord Balnazar. I, so I think... I don't know if this matters at all, but... I mean, obviously, it's help kill Balnazar. But, to kill Balnazar, we need more allies. Um, I guess we don't really need to defend against demon invasions. That's important, but all of the class halls are doing that. Also, procuring... I would say seek allies. You can always... Good idea, High Lord. With additional allies of the light, our strength will be magnified. Yeah, yay, yay. Our, mi our mission is clear, but what are our next steps? <coughs> Excuse me. Good decision, High Lord. We should be bolstering our forces by increasing recruitment efforts. Let us send our champions to carry out these orders. Complete the mission, Holy Allies. I have heard much of these two heroes. There's little doubt in my mind their message is of utmost importance. Turalyon and Illyria. I cannot believe they've been alive all these years. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us can't either. We also don't know why Blizzard pulled this stupid Thousand Year War shit. That's what, uh, that's what Turalyon just said, a pony. Erator is right. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go do this, and then we'll end it here. Um, sure. This is one hour, May the so. light give you All right, we're going to continue this next time, but for now, Peace, friend. chapter one is complete. Um, May we're going to get some allies. But until then, stay awesome, everybody. The Paladin campaign is underway. Um... I feel like it's just chapter one, and I know that this is very similar to the priest Better. one because they both kind of have the same goals. And based on the priest one, the paladin ones show up at the end, so I'm assuming that's what happens here, unless there's some craziness that occurs. But I'm liking it so far. This feels very much a paladin thing thus far. That also could just because from nostalgia that we're dealing with a lot of characters from vanilla that we saw and were introduced. So either way, I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome. And if I can type... Bye!